Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Stick Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss bug tracking and reporting. So first of all, we have to understand what is bug and what is defect, right? If you are a tester, this is your main role, right? You have to find a defect or bug understood right if you are a manual tester or if you are a qa right so our main perspective is to uh, how we can provide the best quality of the product right it should not uh, we don't have any bug leakage or defect leakage in our i can say in production right so this is your uh, very important role and this is a very important topic as well if you are a fraser or if you are a experience also or if you are planning to switch in qa or in manual testing profile so this part is very important how we are working in the real time if you will get some defect right how to raise the defect so we have a step by step process so we will explore that you can see so now we can understand what is bug basically the bug or issue all are almost like the same but when i say the bug we have a some you know issue with or some problem with code base okay understood right so i can give you some example if you are going to enter valid username and password but still you are getting some error right so might be this is breaking the code or some logic is incorrect or some syntax error they did not do the unit testing properly so any reason might be there in code base side right so so if someone will ask what is bug right so a bug is a sequence or outcome of coding fault okay bug are often the result of syntax error or logical error or incorrect implementation of a features so this is how you can define and you can give any example okay I have given one another uh, one real time example. So in a word processing software like you are using word right Microsoft Word, the requirement specify that when a user select bold formatting option. So when you are you are like making some document and you have to do some bold on the uh, bold you have to do some bold formatting of your sentence right. So you are selecting the text that should be display on the bold font. This is the expected right however doing the testing it discovered that when the bold option is used to the text appear italicized okay okay so what happened here you are getting the different output so it must be a bold but you are getting italicized right so here what will happen so we have a actual and expected is not matching you are getting incorrect output right so this is a bug because it's a coding error that caused the software to behave differently from what was intended understood so this is like i can say bug so you can give any example if you are working you can you already find the many defect we already found the many defect in the manual testing and automation as well okay so now what is defect so see if you have a defect or if you have a bug right almost the things are same but here we are we found the exact clear and crisp this is exact the issue with the code base right but some of the scenario you are getting some unexpected error we cannot say anything we have to reproduce why this error is coming it might be a some different issue as well it's not a issue with our code base might be sometime what will happen when you are uh, going to enter your url sometime it's showing uh, 404 or some other error means we are not able to might be some problem with having the infrastructure issue understood right so a defect is a variation of deviation from original business requirement so whatever we have a original business requirement we are we have a some deviation when a tester execute the test case he might uh, come across that test result with the contradictory to expected result okay this is this is this variation in the test result is uh, referenced as a software defect okay 
so what i'm trying to say here actual whatever the business requirement will there and what you are going to test it is not matching over there it is also the problem whatever the, it, is, it is a defect or bug whatever issue you have in our software we have to fix fix it okay so these defect or variation are referred by different name in the different organization like someone say issue someone say problem bug or incident okay so i can give you one another example this is the one example i have given you another example is imagine a software application like you are using a banking application right where the requirement is specified that user should be able to transfer money between the account so you are going to transfer money with your friends however when you are uh, logging or when you are trying to uh, transfer the fund like you are or saving from or you are fund, uh, transfer the fund from your saving account to a uh, checking the account right so transactions sometimes fail without providing any error so here we can we have to reproduce this issue sometime it is failing okay so we have to reproduce this issue why it is going to happen you can see the previous example of the bug and this example of defect are a bit different here sometime it is coming like error message and this is the defect because it does not meet the requirement of providing a clear error and when a transfer is fails so here we have to reproduce this is not coming the clear error okay clear uh, error message okay so like you understand like what is the defect and bug if someone will ask you then you can give some real time example and you can explain them okay so another important part like you found some defect or bug what you what you will do what is your next uh, i can say what is your uh, next steps right so if you are not aware of like we use some defect management tool or i can say test management tools or i can say agile management tools okay so we have a one tools over there where we are going to track everything like you are writing the test cases so again the agile will involve there so i'm not going to explain here agile i already have a separate video you, you can watch my previous video i have already explained you what is the agile and all okay but in the coming days we will also teach you how the jira will work in real time from there you will get more clarity how to raise the buck but sometime interviewer will ask you this question while reporting the bug to the developer your bug reported should contain the following information what the component are there while raising the bug okay so sometime they will ask you in the interview and you should know also right this is the general question from interview side also and you having this knowledge as well so what happened when you will create a defect then you will get some defect id and defect id is unique okay so how it will looks like guys so i am not unable to show you here we have a separate session then we will also remind you how the defect id will have okay so unique identification number of defect so what happened we having the many defect how to identify the specific defect by using the defect number okay now we have a defect description this is the another important component okay what happened when you will not describe properly developer will not understand what you have mentioned over there might be they will reject your defect right you have to write the things in crisp and clear you have to describe the all the steps what is going to happen okay so defect description detailed description of a defect including the information about the model in which defect was found okay this is the another component another component is version okay so what is the version okay because i can say i'm using chat gpt so we have a one version like 3.5 version 4 4 version so these are the different version of the software might be they have added some new features in the 4 version right so you have to clearly mention in which version this defect is right this is the current version or you know what like we have to also mention the version 
steps you have to give a step by steps how you are going from this step this step this step right you have to clearly write the step by step in which step so what will happen it is easy to understand the developer it is easy to reproduce to the developer understood right if they will not understand what you are writing then the they will reject your defect okay so uh, steps are also important detail a step along with a screenshot okay another important part guys so every thing you have as uh, some proof take a proper a uh, screenshot and attach with description you can make a separate document and we can attach those document in our uh, attachment okay so what will happen when developer will open your document they having the clear idea about of what the defect is it is right so detail a step along with a screenshot with which the developer can reproduce the defect okay when you are going to raise this all the things will automatically capture by your uh, defect management tool so you should not worry about that so that when the defect is raised referenced you have to give some reference as well like you have a, some extra screenshot you are uh, having like you have to give some reference from them if you have any or you have a reference means you have a, some reference document you have prepared separate written you have description you have written and you have prepared some document as well right you must be right you must be prepared because what will happen if you will not pre prepare the proper document then again it is a problem to understand to the developer okay so when uh, so here we can reference we can give some document or a screenshot to the developer to understand this so when uh, when in your provide the reference document like requirement design architect or maybe even the screenshot of the error to help to understand the defect okay detected by so automatically it will capture by your application who is going who raised this defect a status so this is another important part guys okay so we have a different status of defect another topic is defect life cycle from there we will explain what is the defect uh you know a status okay so i will give you like this is very new defect then a status is new right understood right or you are testing the defect right you are testing again you have found so we have our status you know like i can say different different phase we have a different different status so we will explore this in the defect life cycle fixed why if your defect is fixed who is who is fixed this defect right so directly we have a some option to our name we have to select over there who worked on that okay date close so when you have closed the defect okay so everything will capture by the i can say uh, your uh, defect management tools like jira you are using or rally you are using we having the many tools in the market product based company they are using own tools now we have a severity so this is very important thing okay and in many interview the interviewer will ask already what is severity okay so which describe the impact of defect on the application okay so i can give you one example severity will tell to the developer how much impact we have in our application so we will have a separate session for severity and purity don't worry about that but here understand that i'm going to repeat once it will it will check it will it will uh, describe to the developer it will understand like how much impacting in your application what the impact is there on your application is a critical is a high is a low or it is a medium so what will happen if we if we have a critical right so here you know what will happen we have a need a this action as soon as possible medium low it might be will have a like this is the another priority right so here severity and priority will define to uh you know as soon as possible means it will prioritize the task as well right so which related to defect fixing urgency your application is down it's not working right so we can give the highest severity and highest priority understood right so our uh, highest priority or i can say medium medium so it depend upon how the impact we have on the application according to we will select severity and priority okay so which is related to the defect fixing urgency and severity 
priority could be high, medium, low based on the impact, urgency at which the defect should be fixed respectively. Hope you understand. These are the major component when you are going to raise the defect. Understood, right? So now guys, we have another topic and this is the another important topic what is the defect life cycle so i can give you a simple example when you are going to raise the defect it will go in the different different pages right so suppose you are testing something and you found something new this defect is not already raised by someone so status will be new okay then again this uh, this will you you are going to assign to someone right who is you are going to assign to someone so again that's a, uh, a status will assign whom we are going to assign developer developer will verify your defect when the developer will verify the defect might be he found some duplicate defect might be he found some defect is not there right might be he found uh, i can say uh different state right might it will it will having the different it will fix in the different uh, uh different release so if they will verify if they found this defect has to fix now then a status will be open means developer is working on that once developer will fix the defect again it will come to us to retest okay retest or pending so it will again come to us again we will retest that defect if we found some more issue then again we will assign back to the developer again developer will reopen the defect understood right again he is he is working on that he again he fix it again he send back to us a status is retest again we have tested and now we we have a we don't found any issue then i can say defect is fixed or i can say defect is verified everything then it will go for some review might be your lead will review again this fixed defect if nothing cross verify i can say then he will close or i can close i have some thing like if you are a tester then you have a like uh, permission to close as also we can also close this so this cycle will rotate until unless the defect will i can say um, a defect will uh, fixed or closed understood right so let me explore this so this theory guys will help you to prepare your interview take the screenshot as well okay so this will helpful for your uh, i can say uh, for your revision so what is defect life cycle defect life cycle or bug life cycle is a specific set of a state that a bug goes through the discovery to the defect fixation understood right the number of a state that a defect goes through the uh, uh, varies from the project to project so guys one more thing i want to say tell you it depend upon the project what the state they are mentioning over there I could see sometime they having the only few state. Sometime be having the some more state. But you have a knowledge of all the state in which state it is going to happen now. Okay. So defect life cycle stage. So first stage is new. When a new defect is logged and posted for the first time, it is assigned as a status is new. Another is assigned. Once the bug is posted by the tester, the leads of the tester pro approve the bug and assign the bug to developer team open so when developer accept the defect i told you right then he will set the status as a open now fixed okay in the fixed what will happen once the defect is rectified the developer will set the status as a fixed and it is also called as rectified okay so another status is pending or retest okay so i told you right once the defect is fixed the developer give the uh, particular code for retesting the code to the tester and since testing remain pending from the tester end the status is assigned to the re pending request sometime what will happen might be you are busy but again they have assigned to you have another priority task you are doing to in this scenario 
the status will retest or a status will pending request so it depend upon i told you right it will varies from company to company project it is not fixed guys okay i'll keep here only so you have a more visibility retest so tester does the retest of the code at the stage to check whether the defect is fixed by the developer or not and change the status is retest verified the tester retest the bug after it got fixed by the developer and if there is no bug detected in the software when the bug is fixed and the status is assigned is verified okay i already given you one example right in the starting so just we are trying to explore uh, with the theory reopen again you have found something oh my god <laughs> right okay you have you are retesting again you have found something then a status is reopened then what happened again developer is fixed again it will come to us but developer did not do the proper testing means unit testing again it will come to us again you found something then again it is a reopen so this is how you can make <laughs> you know a developer will cry this totally depend upon you know how we are testing the defect right so this will be a reopen so if the bug persists even after a developer has fixed that if bug the tester changes the status to reopen and once again bug goes goes through the uh, life cycle okay once again closed okay so like you have tested everything is working fine then we can close the defect so if bug is no longer exist then tester assign the status is close duplicates so here guys sometimes they will ask you what is the duplicates duplicate a status of defect okay so understand this so if defect is repeated twice sometimes what happen one features is depending on the another features so we have raised already that defect but the defect is already raised by someone this features will fix then this features will work so i have given one scenario so might be they can mention as a duplicate uh, defect so what happened i can give you one test cases so you have to do a scroll down and a scroll up okay so here you can see when you are doing a scroll down if you will do down then only you can do up but we have a two defect for up and down we can mention in one defect right up and down or one test cases so i let i have given one simple example okay so in this case as status will be this is the duplicate box or defect if the defect is repeated twice or defect correspond the same concept of the bug the status is changed to the duplicate okay rejected okay so what happened you did not verify whatever the error you are getting might be first time you have or sometime it will happen you know in my side also i have worked on the many project and sometime developer is also rejected my defect reason i will tell you when have some fixes what you are testing uh, like uh, or, or i can say you have some cache in your browser you did not clear the cache what happened that same problem is coming right but if you will test in the incognito it was working fine then again in this case you already assigned to the developer but you did not test in incognito window then what happened here your defect is they have rejected and they will tell you this is not a defect hope you understand right when it will reject you have to verify properly otherwise if it is a not defect they will they can reject like uh, many reasons we have just i have given one reason okay so if developer field uh, that uh, defect is not a genius defect or uh, then it change the defect to the rejected okay so another some important status is defrayed guys so what is the meaning of defrayed okay what happened some of the defect we found but this is a very minor defect it will fix in the next release you are suppose you are doing the some regression and at the last of the stage you found some minor defect right so might be this will not impact much in our application so this will fix in our next release or 
some of the defect you found which is not implemented in this uh, in this uh, in this release might be they have they will implement in the coming release or next coming release uh, you found this right so this type of the scenario if you will get then a status will become different okay so if the present bug is not a primary priority and if it is expected to get fixed in the next release then a status is different is assigned to such as bug okay hope you understand what i'm trying to say okay one more status is there not a bug means you have raised the bug but you do not verify right by the way this is not a bug okay so if if it does not affect the functionality of the application then a status is assigned to a bug is not a bug so when you are verifying the defect so you have to verify very clearly you cannot raise the defect blindly otherwise the escalation will come from the dev team okay so be careful when you are raising the defect and all okay so this is you know how you can explain this defect or bug and bug life cycle component while raising the defect might be severity and priority we have a another separate session for that so you will get more clarity and this is very important session guys so you have to prepare well understand the concept and prepare well okay so that's it in this session guys if you are new in the channel one second so if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification so my channel name is engineer stick up okay i have uploaded around this is your like 33 session if you miss the session i can say please watch from the starting prepare a proper note so we can take the skin sword read and understand the concept okay so what happened when you will start when you will start your interview then it is easy to do the revision okay so interviewer is looking to your answer crisp and clear okay so you can go in this playlist um, why it is it is taking more time to load one second yeah it is taking more time to load okay my internet is slow you will go here so you can see up till now we have a 32 video i have loaded go from the starting if you are a very beginner in manual testing and you will get here okay guys so my internet is a bit slow okay you will get all the description okay in the link over there so you should not worry about that okay and you can just type engineer tech hub okay you can go for this so i have given some real time example okay so you can just explore you will get many more playlist guys so like if you want to learn api testing so we have uploaded like 46 video for the api testing uh, still in the future i will work on that we have a top level of interview question for automation test engineer for top level of the mnc company the people who already attend the interview i made on the video on that okay then you will get some real time interview question and answer so it you are a manual tester or you are an automation test engineer you are planning to switch from one um profile to another profile so here you will get what the challenge is what is your roles and responsibility day-to-day -day activity okay so you will get just you can explore guys i cannot go one by one and explain this one more thing if you are a manual tester you are learning side by side manual art, but you have to also want to learn in automation so i have launched beautiful course and this is my website mohit tech hub you will get all the link in the description or if you want to learn the live live class as well so we are also providing the live training as well so if you will go for the many of them like you don't have a time you can go for the self-placed course okay in this self-placed course uh you can see uh you are here you will get some demo video for java selenium as well okay so you should not worry about that okay you can go and you can just watch some demo video if you will feel it is uh like if you like this uh, course you can see i have provided the best content guys if you are a beginner 
if you don't know anything about a programming also you can start this course after completing the course you will become the master of the java and selenium once you will share your certificate i will provide you free your interview preparation like how to prepare your resume what the project you have to mention we can also take the mock interview this is not we are charging any fee for this but i need this certificate you are you already completed this otherwise we can't do that okay because if you don't have a technical knowledge so now we have a 50 percent discount guys you can just go and you can enroll if you want more discount you can reach out to me i will create you a special coupon for you so again thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe and press bell icon if you have any feedback related to teaching so please comment below we'll try to improve our content also our presentation as well okay so thank you so much See you in the next video bye bye